anointed shall be restored and every yoke I need three folks to help me say every yoke that Satan had tried to put on you is coming off but somebody help me say it's coming off tonight you got to be in the right atmosphere to be deprogrammed from what the devil had going you got to be in the right environment to break the manipulation spirit of the devil you got to be in the right atmosphere to break off those generational curses You got to be in the right atmosphere to cause God to heal you from every hurt in your life. Tell your neighbor, say, that's why you're here. Woo. Say it again. Somebody just said. In various situations, but once you get in God's arena, those yokes are broken and destroyed. No more domination of demonic control by the devil. Somebody that's been set free in this ministry, yell out, I'm free! I'm free. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Let me, let's read it together. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Woo! Touch your neighbor and say, you still got a hope. Tell your neighbor, you still got a future. Tell another neighbor, you haven't lost nothing. Tell another one, say, you are on God's mind. And God got a plan. And the plan is working. Tell your neighbor, say, it's too late. Tell your neighbor, you done messed around and got in the right environment. And tell your neighbor, God is restoring everything that you love restoration I prophesy restoration the victory and makes us victorious in all things and over all things thank you for the victory thank you for the victory calling now area code 626 303 36 
nine zero. Forgive those who have hurt you. Forgive those who have wounded you. Forgive those who once walked with you and they turned their back on you. The Lord is saying, get ready for a special miracle. Listen, every one of you that's watching me tonight, God has commanded me to send out 5,000 these prayer calls are absolutely free. We've prayed, we've fasted over these prayer calls. People are wearing these prayer calls and they're getting miracles. Get this prayer call. There's a woman in Georgia. It's free. Get this prayer call. Write me. Here's my mailing address, Pastor DeCure, P.O. Box 5. 0002 Pasadena, California. A woman had a little boy. He was very hyper. Eight years old. Every day, every other day, she was at the schoolhouse. But she put a prayer cloth in his backpack. And she said he would go to school. She said once he started wearing that prayer cloth, she didn't get any calls. The teacher called her and said to her, what is going on? Your son is better. She said, I gave him one of those prayer cloths that that prophet sent me. The teacher told her the prayer cloth need to send one to all of these children's parents. She said, because this kid has changed. I don't care what your problem, what the condition. I want you to get a prayer call that this prophet has prayed and fasted over. Prayer calls are in the Bible. They call them handkerchiefs. Apostle Paul passed out handkerchiefs. When this prayer cloth come into your house, the anointing is coming. People of God, keep calling for prayer tonight. If you need prayer, in a few weeks, we're going to have more prayer warriors and more prayer counselors that are going to be praying for you. Mm -hmm. I told you God's going to let me open up the prayer center where 24 hours a day, people are going to be praying. People are emailing me their prayer requests. They're rushing me my prayer requests. December the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th, three days, 72 hours, I'm going to be praying. I want to pray for your marriage. Send me your name, your husband's name. You don't have to tell me the problem. God is going to restore love in that marriage. There's a woman watching me. You're in New Orleans. You've been through some pain. You've been through some things. But I want you to take the time tonight and write me. Pastor the Cure. P.O. Box 500. 02 Pasadena, California. God's going to heal you from the hurt. Email me. Your name, your husband's name, and say, Prophet, while you're praying those 72 hours. Mm. And, the, and the engineers put in the data December the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th. I'm taking, and people are already emailing me. People are already writing. There's a woman in Pittsburgh. You're going through something. The devil is trying to tell you that nobody loves you, nobody cares. God loves you, and I want you to feel his love right now and get all those people, ooh, out of your head. Sabado shot. Don't worry about people because the love of God will heal you, will bring release. There's my email address. Pastor Decure at gmail.com. 
take the time and write me. Leave your name and address so that if I have to write you back, but I got to pray for you. There's a man of God. You're in Georgia. You're going through some things physically in your body. You haven't even told your wife. And the devil's been whispering in your ear that you're going to die. But as God's prophet, I speak and I prophesy over you. Psalms 102 verse 17. Thou shalt live and not die. Whoa! My, my, my. And the vision that God has given you is coming to pass. Tonight, people, I want you to keep calling for prayer right now. My, my, my. I'm not here by accident. Remember the date, December the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th. 72 hours of prayer for you. And listen, there's a preacher from Florida. He said he heard me a year ago, and I said I was praying for preachers. And he said, Prophet, all I did was email you my name and my ministry. He said, Prophet, my ministry was falling apart. He said, but after that 72 hours of prayer, he said, people start coming. Three and four start showing up every Sunday. He said, God brought restoration. And preacher, I prophesy restoration in your ministry. Woman of God, ha! You have survived the attack of the enemy in the witchcraft that was sold against you in your ministry, it will not work. I speak over you, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I declare, and I decree, and I prophesy restoration. Mm. Woman of God, email me your number. Email me your name for 72 hours. I want to pray. Here's my email address again. Pastor DeCure. My name is spelled D-E-C-U-I-R, P.O. Box 5, 0, 0, 0, 2. P.O. Box 5, 0, 0, 0, 2. Pasadena, California, and the zip code, 91115. I want you to make sure that you get your prayer request into my hands. Those of you that need prayer, keep calling that number. My email address, pastorthecure at gmail.com. That's the correct email address, pastorthecure at gmail.com. The phones are ringing off the hook. Now, if you call and the line is busy, call back. I want you to open your Bible tonight. Oh, ooh, my, 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 my. To the book of Joshua, chapter young, chapter one. And I want to begin reading, because somebody, you need to know this, you're going to cross over. Oh, and you're going to get what God has for you. You've already survived the works. You've already survived the hurt. You've already survived the pain. You've already survived the mistake. You've already survived the betrayal of that man or that woman. Preacher! The worst is over. Get ready for the best. Get ready for change. Get ready for the new beginning. Get ready for the turnaround. Who glory. The phone number. Somebody got a call right now. You're going to have what God said you're going to have. You've already survived. You've got to cross over the past. Apostle Paul says, forget those things that are behind. And reach 
for the things that are before. Joshua chapter 1. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Moses, the son of Nun. Moses ministered, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise and go over this Jordan, thou and all this people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. God gave them an order. They had just got through grieving. Moses was going to heaven. They were grieving, but God said now, Moses is dead, but my word that I spoke over your life is not dead. Mm. The promise that I spoke to you is not dead. The prophecy mm, that I spoke over your life is not dead. God said, get ready. The prophecy is coming to pass. Mm, quickly, some of you have been waiting. You're getting ready to enter a season of manifestation, but you've got to make a move. You say, what kind of move? You got to make a move of faith. You got to make a move. Stepping over your past. Stepping over the hurt. Stepping over mistake. We all make mistakes. But you got to rise up and move in God's order. You got to rise up now and say, I'm going to have what God says I'm going to Nothing is going to stop you because all of what you went through the past three years have been positioning you into a place to cross over. Forget those things that are behind. And sometimes you have to forget people that are behind. You are in your season of change. And the worst is over. And the best is yet to come. And you have survived the worst part. The worst is over. Your best is yet to come. You are in a season of restoration. You're in a season where God has given you strength. Receive spiritual strength right now. And just know that God is going to let you rise up with the wings of eagle, the strength of eagles. Ooh, I prophesy new strength spiritually mm. and physically. Many of you are being healed right now. You're being healed from the pain and from the hurt. That's why many of you got to call that number for prayer. Mm. My, my, my. Three days. Three days. December the 27th, the 28th, and the 9th for 72 hours. There's several people that are in ministry. I'm God's little prophet. But I got to pray for you. There are preachers on television that I watch. I'm praying for them. For God's covering and God's protection upon them. And I'm speaking the word cancellation of any plan of the devil against them and against their ministry. The worst is over. Listen to me. There are people tonight, there are 300 people. Don't stop till you get through. If you want the oil, just text me. If you want the prayer cloth, you can not text me, email me. Make sure you leave your name, your address, and your zip code. Somebody said, oh, yes, we do have. I have anointed oil. If you would like to have a bottle of this anointed oil, 
write me, I'll send it to you. Or call that number 626-303-3690. But you can also write me. Here's my mailing address, Pastor DeCure, P.O. Box 50002, Pasadena, California, the zip code 91115. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, there are many people watching tonight for those that are sick in their bodies. Touch and heal them. God, those that are bound by fear, I command that they be loose from the spirit of fear. Those, God, that are battling spirits and demons of witchcraft, cover them, loose them from that spirit and let them walk in victory. I speak the word victory tonight everywhere they walk. And God, as they send me that prayer request, I'm going to lay before you with it for 72 hours. As they send me the name of that son, that daughter, that husband, that wife, and God as that preacher wants me to pray for his ministry. God, I'm going to hold it up to you for 72 hours. I know you're going to move. Now, Father, there are those that have backslidden. I speak the word restoration. Break them loose from every shackle that have them bound. Heal them from church hurt. Let that woman preach again. Now, Father, I thank you for the souls because you spoke to me and said there's a harvest of souls coming into churches and into ministries. In Jesus' name, amen. I want you, and I want you, are you hearing me? I want you and I want you to call right now. Area code 626-303-3690. I want you to also, my friends, don't forget to get a prayer cloth. It's free. Ask for the anointed oil. It's free. And listen today. I don't know how many minutes I have left, but I want to tell you something. Every one of you that are blessed by my ministry, every one of you know that we need to put this ministry all over the world. I'm asking you to be my partner tonight. I want to be on this station every night. I want to be on the Word Network. I ask you, help me. Help me take this message, this prophetic word, this word of restoration. There are marriages all over this country, all over the world, that need this anointing of restoration. There are preachers that the devil have hurt and wounded. They need to be strengthened. They need to be renewed. I'm asking 300 of you tonight to sow a seed of $100. Send it to Pastor the Cure of the Prayer and Share Ministry, P.O. Box 50002, Pasadena, California, the zip code 91115. Or you can go to my website, sow a seed right now. Somebody watching can sow a seed of $1,000. Go to my website, prophetthecure.org. Prophetthecure.org. That's my website. Look for the donation button and sow your seed. Remember, if all of us come together, if you would all stand with me, I'm going to take this message around America. I say to every one of you, I thank you for standing with me. I thank you for sharing. Father, I thank you for those that are sharing. Touch them, bless them. And I thank you for the miracles in Jesus' name. Keep calling for prayer. Area code 626-303-3690. Until next time, I believe God. There's a holy
to do what? on it. Come on. Sing that song about put a praise on it. Anybody get if the Lord did something for you? Point your hand at somebody say the Lord did something for me. Tell your neighbor if you don't believe it, watch me the next seven days. Oh now listen.